The firearms licensing agency has distanced itself from claims that it cancelled the firearm certificates of former President Uru Kenyatta's sons. In response to a case filed by the Kenyatta Sons, the Firearms Licensing Board has stated that it did not revoke the licenses, emphasizing that the case is built on unfounded speculations. Senior Counsel Fred Ngatia, representing the Kenyatta Sons, had sought the intervention of the courts to protect them from alleged illegal actions by the agency. In a quote from his statement, the application is premature and should be struck out. End of quote. The Attorney General has also requested removal from the proceedings since no specific orders are being sought against their office. Although the case was scheduled for a hearing on Wednesday, September 27, it failed to proceed as some of the involved parties indicate that they had yet to file their documents for the court's consideration. Justice Jairus Nga granted the parties 10 days to file their responses before deciding. He extended the orders that prevent the state from revoking Jomo Kenyatta's license until the mentioned date set for October 11, the year 2023, when further directions will be provided. In his case filed in July, Jomo Kenyatta implored the court to intervene and prevent the state from revoking his firearms license without following the due process outlined in the Firearms Act. He expressed concern that the authorities had demanded he surrender his firearms on July 21st without providing any reasons. And I quote from his statement, On inquiry, as it led to the reasons, if any that had caused an abrupt demand for my firearms, the officers feigned ignorance. End of quote. He emphasized that the grounds for revoking a firearm license as outlined in the Firearms Act cannot be invoked without affording the license holder an opportunity to be had, which aligns the principles outlined in the Fair Administrative Action Act. According to court documents, the Mokinia license remains valid until April 27, the year 2024. The move to disarm Jomo Kenyatta came after Interior CS Kithure Kindiki's announcement on July 25th, stating that the 23 firearms were recovered from three residents in Karen, Nairobi. This followed an operation launched after it was established that civilian gun holders supplied weapons using during demonstrations. Jomo Kenyatta has asserted that he has adhered to all regulations since it was issued with the firearms. Ojuan Odero.